Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another predictions video. This time we're going to be discussing Group G, where we have Porto, Monaco, RB Leipzig and Besiktas. Since this group was first drawn, I thought it was going to be the closest group to call. I originally had Monaco and RB Leipzig going through, Porto going to the UEFA Europa League and Besiktas uh, getting eliminated. As we now see, this didn't turn out that way and we have a very close race between uh, Besiktas, who is pretty much qualified, Porto and RB Leipzig. I think it's going to be a really exciting game. There'll be lots of goals. I predict a draw between these two, 2-2, two two, and I see Falcao scoring. I think he's going to be really motivated, uh, going back to the Statue do Dragao, the place where he got worldwide recognition and where he jumped to stardom. So I look forward to an exciting match between Porto and Monaco. In the other game, RB Leipzig versus Besiktas, again with lots of goals. The reason why I thought this group was the best is because it has a lot of young, exciting teams. Even though Monaco was depleted in comparison to last year, we have RB Leipzig with exciting players like Timo Werner and Navi Keita, while Besiktas has many good veteran players and a few young, talented players. I see this game ending 3-2 in favor of RB Leipzig. In the end, I think Besiktas and RB Leipzig will go through and Porto will be left in the UEFA Europa League, while Monaco sadly is already eliminated. Once again, thank you for watching guys, stay tuned for our next video, ciao! Where did that goal come from? Top class! The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost, they saw it coming from a long way out. It's still a great sight in the game, isn't it? The headed goal, and this was a fine example of it. Well, he's one of the best at anticipating balls into the box, and he was first to react, wasn't he? Herrera. Last half time at 1 0. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well didn't he and he got himself a goal to put his team lots of these interceptions he's in the cross is long towards the back post just the one goal in it but they've got a corner and a chance to add to that one goal advantage very late in this match Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. Alongside me, Martin Tyler, and a big welcome to you, East Germany. And plenty of the history of the uh, the divided nation when you uh, go on a sightseeing tour around the, the place. But the football's now worth coming for as well. Yeah, it's a, a club on the up. There's no doubt about that. Making waves in Germany now. San Milano is the official today. Kick off into the attacking third. Now the shot! Fabricio makes the save. A straightforward one. 
some potential in this move. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. A try run now. They've broken through here with the first goal. Might that just be the vital strike? It's a really good goal from a player who prefers it with the other foot. He does, and he drives mad sometimes when players won't take a chance on the weaker side. So fair play to him for doing that. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team out. The second half could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. He's had a go here. And there is a goal that puts them level. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal, and it came at a... Crucial time, I think, for his side. Real captain's input there. And all. There's a dangerous field. Incisive pass. Space to try and hit it now. A oh, great work by the keeper. Oh, he's given a corner to Leipzig. Finish it off! Well, that was so close to going inside the post, but it's just straight past the outside. Yeah, I think he'd beaten the keeper, you know, but just not got it within the framework of the goals, and he's a bit unlucky. a goal and I don't think it'll be the last one they score today the way they're playing no and the opposition is all over the place just no semblance of organization from them and the referee blows for one last time thoughts on one of the better performers today Alan yeah maybe the difference between the two sides really solid really good performance from him